Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, hello, my name is Chloe and I am here today to give you another Dear David update. And if you are not already caught up, now is the time to go ahead and pause this video, go back and watch the two previous Dear David videos. Dear David is a ghost story that went viral on Twitter after the user Adam Ellis uploaded a thread explaining a ghost that he thought was in his apartment. And since then things have gotten crazy, I've done another update and then this is going to be the third and final one for a while and I want to kind of explain why but we'll get into that at the end of this video. The reason I'm covered in scratches is because I just did a video with my guinea pigs that's going to go up in my vlog channel really soon. Make sure to subscribe to that channel. I'm going to be putting up more vlogs and like pet content and stuff like that over there but I wanted to make a super quick announcement. I am taking tomorrow off to kind of regroup but Monday through next Sunday October 1st there's going to be a video every single day on this channel to gear you guys up for an announcement that I have been dying to make. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. You are going to freak out. It is something I've been hinting at for a long time and I am so excited. So I'm gonna finally make that announcement on October 1st and just to say thank you to guys for all of your support and also to gear up for Halloween and my huge announcement I'm going to upload every single day next week. So gear up, go ahead and turn post notifications on because you won't wanna miss everything that's coming up. So much has happened since my last year David update. Literally so, so, so much. And I kind of wish I had made this sooner before this was going to turn into probably a 20 minute video. But honestly, there were a lot of people tweeting me that this story was fake, that it wasn't real. And I kept wondering, well, could it be fake? Do you know what I mean? Like I would hate to be duped and I would hate to dupe you guys. But I am telling you, I just don't think this story is fake. On August 31st, Adam tweeted, for everyone asking, yes, I'm alive. I'm just not home much during the week. I promise I'll keep you all updated should anything happen. It was quiet for a few days and then on September 5th, Adam tweeted, it's happening again, thread. I've been leaving the nanny cam on 24 seven. It records every time there's movement or sound, as you know. I was going over the feed from this weekend and noticed some weird stuff. During the night on Saturday, while I slept, it recorded the cats in the living room. It seemed pretty unremarkable at first. But then, after a few moments, Maxwell freaks out and jumps over something invisible. This video was what made me think there's no way. That cat looks at something on the floor, hops over it, and nothing is there. I don't think it was a bug or anything. Maxwell doesn't react like that with bugs, he just eats them. Something spooked him. What's more, I almost never get bugs. I've seen maybe three in all the years I've lived here. Anyway, the next night, the camera recorded a couple more strange videos. Specifically, it recorded Maxwell doing this on and off for hours. In this video, Maxwell is like near catting. He's up on his hind legs, he's looking around like he's following something and very clearly nothing is there. He'd sit up on his hind legs and peer around the room as if looking for something or looking at something. This is odd behavior for him and I can't come up with an explanation for it, especially because of the next video. Here's the final video the camera recorded that night. And it's very clear here that Maxwell is batting at something. He's like following something around. Something is spooking him. And because of the nanny cam, you don't see like, if this was faked, you don't see like a red dot that he's chasing. You don't see a fly he's chasing, anything like that. He's looking at something in front of him and batting at it and nothing is there. I suppose there's a chance it was a fly, but honestly, I never get flies, so that seems unlikely. I just can't shake the feeling that something has made its way into the apartment. It's odd behavior from Maxwell in any event. Things feel off this week. I can't explain it. Then a few days later, on September 11th, every night before bed, I go through the same routine. I feed the cats, brush my teeth, and lock every single one of the three locks on my door because I'm paranoid. Don't ask why my door has three different working locks, plus what looks like the remainder of a break-in. I'd prefer not to dwell on it. Anyway, the other night I was getting ready for bed as normal. I went into the kitchen to get cat food. I hadn't even gotten to the pantry when I heard a loud crack. It's better just to watch the video since the nanny cam records everything now.
So as Adam leaves the room to go into the kitchen, you see that a pot falls off of his shelf and shatters on the floor. He checks the locks, obviously no one came in, the cats didn't knock it over, it fell over on its own. The freaking thing just fell over and smashes on the floor. At first I thought maybe it was one of the cats who knocked it over, but they were both in the bedroom. As you can see, I slid the lock immediately after realizing what was going on. I also checked it about four more times before bed. The thing that fell was this little knitted cactus in the terracotta planter. It's totally busted now. And then his cat is just being cute as crap in the background. I love black kitties. But yeah, it clearly fell off the shelf, shattered everywhere. For the skeptics, he said, I live right next to a subway line and my whole house shifts and shakes every now and then, which could explain this. I always get in my head making excuses for whatever is happening. I'm still skeptical. But now every little sound freaks me out. I leave for Japan in two weeks and it can't happen soon enough. Also, someone tweeted this meme to him and he retweeted it and it says, Adam, moving out to live a happy ghost free life and then dear David, and I think it's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Then five days ago, he tweeted, I've been having so many nightmares lately, thread. They're way more intense than my usual dreams too. I don't know if it's because I'm stressed or if it's something else. This afternoon, I took a nap and had a dream that I haven't been able to shake. In the dream, I was laying in bed and rolled over to face the other direction. On the pillow next to me was a severed head with a bloody spine attached, snaking down the bed. The head was staring right at me, somehow still alive. It had this huge smile plastered on its face. Horrified, I screamed, what happened to you? The head smiled even bigger. It feels great, the eye of chills, the head groaned. After that, I woke up. It was dark outside by then, everything was quiet. Other dreams have been just as strange. Things like dark figures staring in my windows, even though I live on the second floor. Stuff that makes no sense in relation to what I've been experiencing in real life. After that dream about the head, I've been feeling uneasy all night. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I decided to go for a walk, if for no other reason than to get out of my apartment. I went to the bodega a few blocks away to get a snack. On the way, I had to pass the warehouse that was boarded up a few weeks ago. It's actually on the way to everything. I pass it twice a day just to get to the subway. I hurried past it since it freaks me out now. At the bodega, I got some Doritos and a seltzer, then made my way back home. When I passed the warehouse a second time, I heard a dull thunk from the other side of the shutters. I froze in place, but there was no other sound after that. I probably should have just continued on, but curiosity got the better of me. There was a grated window next to the doors about a foot above my head too high to see into. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna hold my phone up to the window, take one photo, and then run for my life. I made sure my flash was on, positioned my camera lens through one of the grates, and snapped a photo. I almost thought I saw movement when the flash went off, but I couldn't be certain. The light bounced off the grates and was pretty blinding. I couldn't even look at the photo, I just ran all the way home. It was too jumpy to look at it for a while. I just ate my Doritos nervously. When I finally did look at the photo, here's what I saw. It seemed to be a different part of the warehouse, maybe an office. There was a bunch of old insulation and what looked like a filing cabinet in a ripped up leather desk chair. Then I noticed something else in the upper right corner, something that looked like a face. The more I stared at it, the more it started to look like a nondescript blur. Now I can't even be sure what I'm seeing. Maybe I'm too deep into this and my brain wants to see David when he's not there, but here. I messed with the filters on my phone a bit. Tell me this doesn't look like him. And he shows that in the brighten up version of the photo, it looks exactly like David. It's just so creepy to see that image and I'm gonna talk about this in an upcoming video. And I tweeted about it and some people said to me that I was crazy, that I was overreacting, that I was clickbaiting, like whatever. In my video exploring the haunted asylum that my friends and I visited, we caught an image, actually a subscriber caught an image, of what looks like somebody literally peering around the corner. And in this tiny little clip, something also blocks the light source that was coming in. So I get what it feels like to look at something like that and wonder if it's real or not, because I'm literally going through the same thing right now, but that looks just like David. I mean, it looks just like his photo that he'd drawn. It's so eerie to look at. I, it gave me the chills when I saw it, and that was when I was like, all right, I'm filming an update. But then today, actually just a few hours ago, Adam tweeted, the past few days have been fairly quiet. I haven't been spending much time at home. I leave for Japan in a couple of hours. I've been trying to avoid anything weird before my trip. I still feel like this all might stop if I just leave for a couple of weeks. Whatever happens, I want to thank everyone for their kind thoughts and concerns. 
This whole ordeal has been stressful and it means a lot. It makes me feel like I'm not going through this alone. See you in a couple of weeks. And then that was seven hours ago when I'm filming this video. And it pretty much looks like that's the last update for a while because Adam is going to Japan for a bit. It looks like he's taking a break from Dear David. So unless David follows him to Japan, we probably won't have any updates for a while. And so a lot of you have been tweeting me saying that you think that this is a hoax to promote his new book, this and that. I just can't shake the feeling. Some of this stuff is so convincing, you guys. And I haven't been there. I can't like vouch for Adam. I can't vouch for this story, but I just have a feeling that it's not a hoax. I have a feeling this is very real. And just that last photo and just seeing that ghostly like mist that looks so much like David, I can't shake it out of my head. It is the creepiest thing I think I've ever seen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It actually wound up being a little bit shorter than I thought. So props to me for that. But yeah, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now is the time to subscribe because I am uploading all of next week. You guys do not want to miss my announcement on October 1st. And go ahead and turn those post notifications on. I never ask for that, but I promise you this is going to be good. Also, friendly reminder that I had a collection launch with Charming Charlie, little old me, and I have some really cool things that you guys can purchase. Some of the purses are sold out online, but they're still in stock in a lot of stores nationwide. I will leave my Charming Charlie collection link down below if you want to shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I will see you next time. I know that I did that twice. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Very soon. Like two days soon. <laughs> Bye.